Hello there, this is Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and another card making video. This is episode two of my March stamp set of the month series featuring the Peekaboo flight stamp set from Avery L. It has this cute airplane and helicopter in it and I'll be pairing it with some Peekaboo Pals and making a slimline shadow box card. You know I'm in love with them and I thought this is the perfect set to use in a shadow box. Also, I am giving away this stamp set right here to one of you. This video is being sponsored by Avery L and they gave me this stamp set to give away to one of my viewers. So all you need to do is leave a comment below on each of the five videos in this month's series and you'll be entered to win and the winner will be announced at the beginning of next month. So that's all for the giveaway, pretty easy. And now let's jump in to making my Slimline Shadow Box card. I'm starting by stamping out my images with some Copic Friendly Black ink onto some white cardstock. I decided to stamp this out a bunch of times so that I had my images ready to go for the rest of this month's series. There's gonna be three more episodes after this. So here I am coloring out the helicopter. Today's helicopter will be blue. So I started with my lightest color, BG05, colored the entire helicopter, and then coloring in my shadows with B. 18. This is my darkest marker and I will just add a little bit of that in the areas I want there to be a shadow. I'm going to blend out that shadow with my mid-tone marker which is B16 and I will go over that a second time as I want to kind of have that color come out a little bit farther than I had it come out the first time. And then to finish off the ink blending I'll bring back in the B05 and blend out those lines and just go over the entire thing once more for a nice nice smooth finish since this is kind of a large area to color for the airplane I'm going with red I'm starting with R17 and coloring in the entire airplane just like I did with the helicopter and then my darkest color is R39 where I'll come in and lay out all the shadows and to blend that out I'll bring in my R29 marker some of this goes a little bit off the screen I'm really going to work on staying in screen when I'm coloring <laughs> I just get so caught up in it. I like gradually move to the right for some reason. So anyways, I am blending that out now with my lightest color, my R17. I love this airplane. I'm going to add black, which is really some dark gray markers, T markers for the accents on both the helicopter and the airplane, leaving the stars white. And then on my propeller for the airplane, I am coming in with T1, T3, and T2 just to give it a little contrast and that lighter met metal color. Metal. <laughs> I don't know why I overpronounced that. Okay, so now I'm bringing in my white gel pen and adding the highlights to bring these images to life and that will finish up the coloring for the airplanes and helicopter. Then I'm going to bring in some Peekaboo Pal stamp sets for their uh, pilots. Now, I really, really wish that Avriel had a Peekaboo Pilots stamp set. I would love a pilot that looked like a medic, one that looked like an old school pilot with a hat. Oh, one that looked like it was in the military. So I used Peekaboo Pals and Pe Polar Peekaboo Pals for the scarf for my hippo. I just wanted some critters that really um, went with the colors I was going for, which I didn't know I was going to do red, white, and blue when I started. I just thought, oh, a blue helicopter and mm, a red airplane. And all of a sudden, I was making a red, white, and blue card. So I thought the gray looked really good to go with them. So now I'm figuring out where to put the little paw for my hippo. And I like on these two critters to kind of spread their paws out wider than their body. It makes them appear large and they're such large animals. It's a good look. So now I have my Scrappy Tails Slimline Shadow Box die set. I'm going to die cut these two pieces. This is the middle rectangle I'm cutting at the same time as I'm cutting the base piece to create the window in the that'll be the front of this card. 
Then I'll cut the base piece by itself, which will be the back of the card. So you need one with a window, one without. Then I used the bridge piece and cut three bridges for this card. I'm gonna spray all of these pieces with my Avery L Shimmer Spray. I love this stuff. I love shimmer. I love splatter, so it's fabulous. Next, I am using the Slimline Rainbow Builder Die Set from Trinity Stamps for these clouds. I have some corner cloud pieces and some just strips of clouds. I'm gonna dust the edges with some tumbled glass Distress Oxide ink, just for a little bit of color, not trying to um, really fill them in, just so that it kind of stands out against the white background. I'm gonna spritz all of those as well, and I actually will end up die cutting two more of these cloud strips and one more of the corner pieces. I really just wanted to make a card that looked like these um, aircraft were up in the clouds. So I'm gluing my clouds to the um, bridge pieces for my shadow box. And then one of the cloud pieces, I'm just gonna glue to the back of the window. And I am trimming those down to be about seven inches to fit in here. So there you can see the front of my box has the clouds now. And then I need to attach the two pieces together. So the front of the box to the back of the box. So I'm attaching the front to the back using that little flap and double stick tape as well as glue for a very sturdy hold because this is an interactive card. Now I'm gonna take my two bridges and it, you do the same thing with double stick tape and glue on those end flaps. Now when you attach this, you're going to attach it to this middle section of the box. I'm gonna attach it so that it is higher up than the window and a little bit further back on that panel and then repeat that with my next bridge. So it's a little higher than the previous one and a little farther back. Then I'm gonna remove the double stick tape on the ends of those, add my glue, make sure that they are straight before I go ahead and shut the side panel down onto them to pick them up. Then on my last flap right here, this skinny little flap, I have my adhesive double stick tape and my glue. Now this what didn't quite fit because of where my bridge pieces were, so I had to trim that down a little bit. Luckily I have scissors that are adhesive resistant and it just rubs right off. So stuck that together and now I wanna make the top more sturdy. So I have a strip of cardstock that I'm gluing to the back of that and that will make that top a little more sturdy, just like the clouds at the bottom make the bottom piece more sturdy. So to attach my plane, I needed to trim off some of the wing. It was a little bit sad, but it's not gonna show. So I'm adhering this to the back of the clouds that are on the back of the frame of this card. And then I'll add a little glue under the propeller to help stick that down. Now I'm figuring out where I want the helicopter to be, and I notice you can see the line where the cloud ends. So I brought in one of my side panels and thought, that would be a good fix to glue that over the top. So I'm gonna die cut another one, do the edge of it with the Distress Oxide ink and spray it with my clear shimmer spray before gluing it into place. And now I don't have that line showing and I can adhere my helicopter to the front of my first bridge. So I'm gonna glue that in place just like that. And now I have my two aircrafts inside my shadow box. I'm loving it. Okay, so next I wanted there to be more clouds. So I am creating a third bridge, and here's another way I decided I could eliminate that um, line in the clouds where it didn't quite, um, like the one cloud is too low or there's a line in the back. I just trimmed down my bridge. Now you could make the clouds a bridge themselves, but I just feel like they're, it's more sturdy if I glue the clouds to the bridge. So trimming down that bridge means none of the bridge shows behind um, the clouds and it worked really good. So I recommend that. But it is a little harder to put your bridges in once your box is put together. Um, it's doable. You just might get a little extra adhesive where you don't want it. So be careful of that and just pinch it into place once you get it where you want it. So now I have a third bridge inside my card and I can go ahead now and add my side panels of clouds to the sides of my box. 
and they just fit right in the corners like that. Looks really cute. I thought it would be fun to have a bird flying through the clouds as well, so I added this like toucan bird, which is the bird I used in episode one, and he was flying the yellow airplane. If you missed episode one, I'll have it linked for you below, especially because you're gonna wanna comment on every episode in this series so you can have a chance to win this stamp set. Next, I am uh, just cutting some acetate strips and I'm gonna attach each of my three stamped clouds to them using a glue dot and some liquid glue to hold them in place very tightly. And these will be little, um, I like to call them picks. I call them acetate picks because they're gonna hold up those clouds and make them look as if they're floating. I love this look in a shadow box so much. I'll add a glue dot to the bottom of each of these before adding them into my card. So this first and smallest cloud, I'm putting behind the third bridge and pressing that to the back of the clouds. And the second to the largest cloud, I'm gonna put behind the second bridge so that you can see it behind the helicopter, which meant I needed to scoot my bird over a tiny bit. It kind of covered up his beak. There will be some overlap in this card because I'm really filling it in, but um, I just wanted to scoot him over a tiny bit. Then this largest cloud I'm gonna attach to the back of the clouds that are on the frame of the card. And I'm loving the three-dimensional look of this. I'm taking three star stamps from that Peekaboo Pals stamp set, and I'm gonna stamp a bunch of of them on my scrap piece of paper in black ink and color them in so I will have a um, have red stars, blue stars, and white stars. I'm using the same exact Copic colors that I used for the plane and the helicopter. And then I'll use just a little dot of T1 on my white clouds. Now there are dies to die cut out all of these stars, which is fabulous. So I did that. And then there were some stars in this superhero stamp set, which I also used in episode one. If you didn't see that, I used that cityscape. I'm going to stamp these tiny cluster of stars about three times on each of the side panels, just to add some stars there as well. And then I'm gonna add the ones I stamped, colored, and die cut to the frame of the card. So I'll have a red, white, and blue one in each of the four corners for a fun look, because the plane and the helicopter both have a star on them. So I went with some more stars. I just, this is not at all really what I had planned. I was gonna use the helicopter on one card and the plane on another. But then as I was going, I thought, I wonder if I could fit them both into one card. They're such big images. Being able to fit both in one slimline card is pretty cool and fun. I added some extra stars to the back of the card as well, which is where I will leave room for a sentiment. I am stamping your plain awesome for the sentiment on the front of my card, taking a black writing pen to make a cloud around this sentiment, just drawing it. It's scary, I know but I actually thought it turned out pretty cute. Um, clouds is one of the things I really like to draw. Like I feel like I'm okay at drawing clouds, so I like doing them. <laughs> They're pretty easy though, right? So I'm cutting around that so it looks like a die cut, and then I'm taking another acetate strip, and I'm gonna suspend it from the airplane and the frame of the card. That way I can put the sentiment in the middle of the strip and it will appear as if it's just floating there because no one's gonna see that window sheet. Well, maybe a tiny bit, but it really gives it the look of floating in the air. So I added a couple glue dots there in the middle as well as glue and then I'll stick my sentiment down. I did end up moving my uh, medium-sized cloud so that it is um, in a different spot because this saying kind of covered it up. So it's behind the helicopter now, which then when I woke up this morning, I decided I needed another cloud because I had to move that one and I, there was an even number of clouds. So I will add another one in just a moment. But for now, I am ink blending a strip. So it's red, white, and blue. I used candied apple and tumbled glass, but the tumbled glass was too light. So I went back in with some salty ocean and then die cut the words happy birthday, also from the shadow box die set. And it's gonna have that cool red, white, and blue look. It reminds me of a, uh, a popsicle. Do you remember those popsicles? That's what it looks like to me. But I thought it was really fun for this card and it kind of has a, like a look that 
like it's glowing with that white in the middle. I don't know. I loved it. I thought it was really fun for this. And now I have happy birthday on the back and room to write a personalized message as well. I even was able to save the teeny tiniest little dot for the eye. It's called a tittle, T-I-D-D-L-E, which makes me want to giggle, but I'm going to say it anyway and with a straight face. Okay, I'm done with that. So there is my shadow box card. Now <laughs> you're going to see it's the next day. It's actually very early this morning, um, that the day I'm doing this voiceover. And when I woke up, I was just like, I've got to add another cloud over here. So now I have five clouds, including the one with the sentiment in it to finish off this card. And I wanted to also show you that this card does indeed fit in a business sized envelope. You fold it flat and it fits perfectly. Now business size envelopes are made to fit a paper that is nine by four. So um, maybe not slimline card envelopes, but business size envelopes, it will fit in there. And I get a box of them at the Dollar Tree. Make sure you get the ones that are of the privacy lining. Otherwise, the other ones are too thin and you can see through them. But yeah, 40 envelopes for a buck. Not bad at all. So there is my shadow box card for episode two of my peekaboo flight stamp set of the month series. Now, if you would like to win this stamp set, make sure you comment on this video and episode one. And then, like I said, there's five episodes this month. So I will have three more coming out every Tuesday in the month of March at 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I thank you so much for stopping by. If you're looking for the supplies I used, I have them linked for you below. And I will be back again very soon with another stamping video just for you. Happy stamping. Bye.